Hello, this is John from Tablet Class Math, and I want to put together a quick video on uh, on those students out there that struggle with their math homework. You know, so the idea here is a faster math homework, get your homework done uh, quicker. But you know, we do want to do uh, do our math homework correctly, right? So, you know, you can do your, your math homework in two minutes, scribble something on a piece of paper and hope that you're going to get credit for it. That's not what I'm trying to talk about here. So, um, what I'm uh, going to try to help you out is how can you be really effective with your math homework and do a great job, you know, and the purpose of, of your homework, of course, is to reinforce what you learned um, in school, right? Your your lessons. So, but we, but we don't want to um, also drag out doing our homework okay because you know you're busy you got other things you you got other courses you got other uh, activities outside of school etc so let's talk about faster math homework and this is just some thoughts some tips that you can kind of think about all right so uh, and by the way my background is I taught middle school all the way through high school and even some college and of course I'm uh, the founder of tablet class math if you haven't heard of us you can kind of check us out later but basically online um, uh, independent learning system for middle and high school math okay back to our faster math homework so <laughs> for sure listen I want you to do your your math homework in a fast effective way but but the key word here is effective so how can it be more effective well the first thing is if you are listening in class and you're taking good notes trust me your math homework is going to go a lot smoother oftentimes your notes or what you're writing down in your notes are kind of the directions um, example problems that you're going to find in your homework your teacher knows that hey listen you know, he or she is teaching a particular lesson or topic and they're going to give you problems they expect you to be able to do based upon that lesson. So if you're engaged in class and you have good notes, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, your homework is going to go a lot smoother. Now, the, the, the opposite is true as well. If you're not really paying attention, you're not trying to make an effort to write good notes, you're going to struggle in your math homework and it's going to be it's going to be painful. You're going to be like, oh, I don't one or two prompts. Yeah, maybe I can do Then It's kind of like guessing and then you're going to have anxiety. Oh, wow. Then you're going to kind of maybe, you know, scribble some stuff down and hope for the best. That's not good. OK, so good math notes. All right. So let's move on to the next thing. And that here is I have is one time. So what do I mean by that when you sit down and do your homework, you know, you should just make it a one-time shot. Like, all right, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to do my homework from start to end. I'm not going to do some of it here and some of there, you know, some of it, uh, you know, do do a 30 minutes here, 15 minutes here. No, sit down until it's done. Now, the only exception to that, I would say, is if you're in class and your teacher says, hey, go ahead and start your homework, you know, uh, take it, definitely take advantage of that time. All right, so if you have the last 15 minutes of your your uh, classroom time to work on your homework, start on that. But when you get home and you start on your homework, hey, start on it until it's done, okay? Because if not, you're going to be going back and forth and you're going to lose kind of like that mental focus, which, you know, your, your brain kind of like, <laughs> it's, a, it's like anything else. It takes a while to kind of warm up, you know, to, to speed up and then, okay, yeah, now I remember and you kind of get into it. All right, so good notes. Do your homework at one time. The next thing is show your work. Now, teachers, when they look and they assess how well your, you know, the quality of your homework, they want to see actual work there. Okay, where it's like just don't like even if you know what you're doing and, and you're working on scrap paper, if it's not on your homework and if it's not understandable, i.e., being pretty neat and organized, you're not going to get credit for it. So why do something where you're not, you know, where you do understand what you're doing? We're not going to get credit for you have to show your work so just getting these you know kind of get into the habit of being neat showing your work just do it the first time and i would recommend using pencil by the way not pen uh, to help you with this for the obvious reasons you can erase pencil okay and the last thing is get help listen if you're struggling you know you're doing all the right things but you're still you know uh, you know having a tough time get help in other words maybe do homework with let's say a study group you know a couple friends after school Better yet, go see your teacher, you know, or maybe you'll have to get a, a tutor in that case, but get some sort of help if you need the help, okay? Anyways, if you follow these kind of four little points here, trust me, your homework, your, your math homework is going to go a lot better. And in the end, not only are you going to get full credit on your homework, this is going to translate into good quiz grades, good test grades, good grades overall. All right, so I hope this video helps you out. 
Have a great day.